domination in both classes in Carrera Cup with Craig Baird. The all-time greats of one-make Porsche racing anywhere in the oh. world. That's Sam Shahin. That's a big accident. A very big accident on the run down the hill towards the dipper. We've seen some carnage here, and he slaps the steering wheel with disdain. Well, saying he was taking his time to come up to grips with this circuit and to get that confidence. This was, to that point, his best lap of the session, 54-2 to the first sector. He's trying to get it moving, but the red flag has already flown. This is deja vu, actually. David Wall was on a, a faster lap, but this is going to work really well for those that have banked a very good lap time in that first set. That's why you must run on that first set of tyres and go as hard as you can in case there's a red flag. And even though the car was running, which is a good sign, he was trying to get first gear and drive away, but there's quite a lot of damage on the right front corner. So you can see the radiator there, just tucked in behind where the front bumper bar used to be and uh, smoke pouring out of that. So it would have fractured the radiator, some of the linkages there that pump the call into the back of the car. Too much curb. Big slide, she could have been worse, Chad, but it's broken the steering on the right front. Remember Tony Longhurst went in up there in the Boatworks yes, Porsche? Yes, yeah. 12 months ago, yeah. that was. He was very similar running Carrera Cup that weekend to get miles ahead of his 12-hour campaign at the start of the year, and it was a very similar crash. Very reminiscent. Watch, uh, watch Sam, just before, when the car's pointing the wrong way, he was bashing the steering wheel in anger before the thing had stopped moving. <laughs> so he knew what was going on. So just a little bit too much kerb, just out over the other side of the painted markings there. So the car's unloaded. Now you can see it bouncing on its suspension, trying to settle a little bit too wide and now it starts sliding. So it's out in the marbles, just scrapes the tires, just scrapes the wall. So it could have been much worse because he could have belted the coat's high sign on the outside of the racetrack. And I'm not going to say he's fortunate to get away with that, but it could have been much worse. That's a damage to the front right corner. That will be repairable. And assuming it hasn't done any gearbox drama where the right rear corner hit the fence, that car will be fixable ahead of race one today. If it's done some damage to the gearbox, it might be a bit of a stretch for today's race, but it was reasonably light contact on the right rear, the 